In this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to utilize the uh, variable price barcode parser. And I'm going to use this label as a demo. So how do we know that this is a price a variable price barcode parser versus weight embedded barcode parser that you would need to parse this? And so let me give you, uh, see how this is 663, the total price and the total weight is 0.510. Now, if we look at the barcode, towards the end of the barcode, you see how 663 matching the price is at the end of the barcode. That's what makes a barcode price embedded. To get started, I'm going to open the uh, variable price barcode parser and make sure that my configuration is complete. See how this is in red and it's not complete, so this is bad. What we want to do is go to an app called Settings. Settings is part of a Clover family of apps. And we're looking for something that's called accessibility. And in accessibility, we want to make sure that the variable price barcode parser is turned on. Okay. Once we turn the variable price barcode parser on, we'll see that it is happy with its configuration and it says that it's ready for use. Now, coming back to this label here, we want to go to the app called Inventory now and the product code for this item is going to be 201000, basically the first six digits that we see on the barcode. And I want to make sure that I already don't have this number, so I'm going to type in 201 followed by three zeros, and I have no hits, so I'm just going to add an item. I'm going to call it Beef Ribeye Steak. Beef steak. Right. So, oh, too soon. <laughs> so there is that item. I'm going to switch it to variable. All right. And I'm going to make the product code to be two zero one. Zero, zero, zero. That's it. That's all I have to do here. Now, this item is set up and I'm ready now to navigate to the register app to demonstrate how it works. I am using a barcode scanner, which I have purchased from Amazon. If you have purchased exactly the same model from uh, no, I'm sorry. I did not purchase this from Amazon. If I had purchased this from Amazon, it would not work. OK, so if you buy the same model from anywhere else other than Clover, it's not going to work. If you buy this from Clover, it's going to work again. Same model from Amazon isn't going to do it. Same model from anywhere other than Clover isn't going to do it. But if you have this device from a Clover, then you're going to be just fine. And this is kind of how it's going to work. I'm actually going to scan it right off of my phone. Um, something, a bunch of other stuff on my test device gets triggered, but there is the item, right? Beef ribeye steak, uh, 663. Okay. That's all there is to it. If, um, my barcode scanner isn't working, right? Like if I'm scanning it with the barcode scanner and how do you know that this is the issue versus something else? Um, Clover offers this camera here that you can turn on and then you can scan against it. Okay, and you get the same result. In fact, let me delete this and do it again so you can see. All right, there it is, ribeye steak. So if, if it's scanning this way, but it's not scanning with this or it's taking you to add item screen, this is your problem. Okay, get rid of this and buy it from Clover. Do not look up the model and then find the cheaper alternative anywhere else. That's not going to work. All right, I hope this helps.